Chang Yan, after crossing over to a different world where there are witches capable of using magic, faces a dilemma. The locals consider witches to be incarnations of demons and want to burn them at the stake. What will Chang Yan do? Will he kill them or use them to seize the throne for himself? After watching Anna's magical abilities, Roland's mind brought up the second law of thermodynamics. He wanted magic to be created out of nothing, just like a perpetual motion machine. His attendant, Barov, was shocked to hear this. These were witches after all. They could easily cause harm to everyone. Roland waved his hand, indicating that it was not a problem, and instructed Barov to draft a labor contract. He wanted to establish a working relationship with Anna, and instructed him to arrange for someone to take care of Anna's daily needs. In order to ensure Anna's safety and allow her to reside in the palace without suspicion, Roland deliberately staged a mock execution where a fake witch was publicly hanged. In his eyes, the witches were the key to his quest for the throne. Only by relying on the witches could he potentially overcome the financial power of the second prince and the military might of the third princess? On the other side, a maid was assisting Anna with her grooming. Anna, who came from a poor family, had never experienced having someone help her with bathing before. She was covered in soap bubbles as the maid gently rinsed her. After the bath, she changed into her work attire and set off to meet Roland. Roland was admiring the dwelling that had been designed for Anna, and he was highly satisfied with the temporary wooden house. Just then, Anna approached wearing her work uniform. Roland's eyes lit up immediately as he had personally chosen this attire. It was a maid's outfit. When she put it on, the snug top accentuated her graceful figure. The neckline of the outfit was intentionally designed lower, revealing a glimpse of her fair collarbone and captivating neck, tempting one to lean in for a kiss. The short sleeves of the blouse exposed her slender arms, further enhancing her delicate beauty. Her legs were long and straight, and wearing black stockings accentuated her graceful curve. The glossy stockings clung to her legs, outlining her curve beautifully. Her eyes were bright and enchanting, her lips had a hint of rosy colour, exuding irresistible charm. She intentionally left a fluffy bang that gently covered a part of her forehead, further highlighting her allure and gentleness. Anna, after putting on the maid's outfit, emitted a unique charm that Roland was highly satisfied with his choice. Witches should indeed be paired with maid's attire. Roland took her hand and reassured her that he would accompany her in practicing how to control her powers, telling her not to worry. They entered the house and practiced over and over again. However, the practice didn't go as smoothly as they had imagined, and Anna kept accidentally burning her own clothes. Just then, Barov and Carter rushed in anxiously, shouting that the patrol team had discovered traces of demons. They warned that the demon's moon might arrive earlier than usual this year. The months of demons refer to the period after the snowfall of the winter, where the sun becomes dim and the gates of hell in Dragonspine's mountains open. The people of the border town would migrate to the stronghold of Longsong Fortress. Anna explained that the months of demons was a recurring nightmare they experienced every year, posing a life-threatening danger. Roland made up his mind that such annual migrations should never happen again, and he would stay here to defend against it. He called upon the guards and hunters to gather information. The hunters who had slain demons explained that only the hybrid types of demons were truly fearsome. They possessed beast-like strong wings and wings on their backs. However, their numbers were scarce, with only two or three of them known to exist. Without hesitation, 
Roland made the decision to allocate funds for building fortifications and vowed to stay in the border town to fight against the monsters alongside everyone else. Can Roland rebuild the city walls on time and successfully overcome this crisis? Let's wait and see. Stay tuned and follow us for the next exciting commentary.